write history without a pen. No ID on the track. Let the story begin. Hey, right, yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, B. And, uh, yeah, I, I've been really trying to avoid making a video about this. But I, I'm just getting pissed off here, you know? I mean, everyone knows Jay-Z. Well, everyone who watches my videos and everyone who knows me personally knows that Jay-Z is my favorite rapper. Hell, you go on my YouTube channel, nigga my background. You know what I'm saying? But I am in no way, shape, or form a dick rider. Let me get that straight. Now, what I came here to discuss is this whole controversy with the death of autotune. And all these niggas, like these artists and and and, and fans feeling like Jay-Z's dissing these people or whatever the fuck. The people that y'all accusing him of dissing, the ones I hear the most, are uh, T-Pain, Lil Wayne, and, and, and Kanye. All three of these niggas, he shouted out in the, he either shouted out, he either shouted out the, the artist in the song, or he, um, or he, he came out and said that it wasn't a diss to them. Like, okay, T-Pain, for example... He ain't say nothing negative about T Pain. He said, "Get back to rap. You T Painting too much." When I when I hear that, I think you T Painting too much. Okay, you are jocking T Pain's style too much. You're doing what T Pain's doing too much. Get your own shit. That's what I take from that. And then, if you go on YouTube, the very site that I'm using right motherfucking now, you can see for yourself that T Pain is up on stage with Jay Z. I think it's at Summer Jam while Jay Z's performing Death of Auto Tune. Singing right along with him. La 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 la. Hey, hey, goodbye. All that good shit. T Pain doing it too, so I guess that he agrees with that statement. Matter of fact, if you go back to uh, I Can't Believe It remix or whatever, at the very end, that nigga said, uh, Sign them papers, people. Auto Tune's on his way out. So how the fuck? Why would he be mad about that? Think about that. As for uh, as for Kanye, yeah, he told me to kill y'all to keep it one hundred. Come on, he ain't dissing Kanye. As for Weezy, he said I need to send this to the mixtape Weezy. Hey, I don't think he's dissing Lil Wayne. And if he was, I don't give a fuck. Besides the people who are accusing him of dissing people, there's another group of people complaining that. Oh, fuck that, man. Everyone, how to, that's what's on the radio right now. Like this video I'm watching right here. It, that's what's on the radio right now. Those are the hottest songs right now. Some, some, some. That's what they play. That's what everybody want to hear. No. <laughs> Just because it's on the radio, that don't mean that's all everyone want to hear. Let me tell you something. The whole auto-tune thing, the, why, the reason why I think Jay-Z made the song was that the trend got out of control. It started off as T-Pain branching off and, and being unique, doing something, bringing something back that wasn't done in a long ass time. He made it his own. Then you had uh, Lil Wayne and Kanye kind of hop on, but at the same time, you know, Kanye took his and he did it in, a, in an alternative route. So it was still different from T-Pain. And then Lil Wayne, he took his and he, uh, just made it hip hop instead of R and B, pretty much. Well, he tried to anyway. So you know that's why I think those are acceptable. But then you got people just hopping on the trend. You got fucking Jim Jones and pop champagne. Oh, because that you make it. Okay, nigga, if you can't sing in the first place, I don't think you should be using that. <laughs> if you if and then like. It's got to the point where um these dudes who aren't like the the top people using it, you know, all the little underling dudes, they all sound the same when they when they be singing it. It, it gets to the point where it's like, well, damn. I mean, is it a robot? I mean, shit. It don't even sound like a person no more. It just sounds like the same old shit. And then you got a bunch of songs sounding the goddamn same. And okay, let me put it to you like this. Yes. Auto tune songs on the radio heavy, but at the end of the day, who put the who put the songs out there first? The artists. Why would the artists hop on a trend like that? Why? Because it makes money. <laughs> that's 
That's all. That's all it's doing. It's just making them money. So yeah, they're gonna make the song. They're gonna hop on the bandwagon, and then just one type of music right now, the whole auto tune party party type music, is the the only music that the radio, MTV, BT. That's all that they're putting out. That's all they're putting out. So if that's all you're hearing, and the radio play the same rotation every goddamn day then of course that's what people are going to be requesting. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people who would take the time to call in are who? Younger, impressionable people, okay? And these younger people, they'll just hop on a trend, just like these artists are doing. They just hop on trends. And they go call in, they go, oh my God, I want to play. Um, Best I ever had was Drake. Uh. I like that song, but still, I'm just saying, as an example, that's what happens. They just... I mean, so if that's all that's out there, that's all that's going to get requested. You feel what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, you got to really ask yourself a question. Is Death of Autotune really that big of a deal? Is it really that big of a, uh, a, 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 fucking, a fucking tragedy that Jay-Z released that song? No, it's a good thing. You know why? It's opening up the door for more diversity because I don't know about you but I'm tired of hearing the same damn songs when I turn on the radio not just auto tune whatever song be on the damn radio like I don't know about y'all I'm from uh, St. Petersburg Florida that's by Tampa Tampa Bay area and the hottest radio station around here is a uh, wild 98.7 and wild 98.7 I guarantee you right now if I turn on my motherfucking radio it'll be Cream on the inside, clean on the outside. Cream on the inside, clean ice cream paint job. Either that or your plies and, and, and fucking and Gucci man wasted. Or fucking, what else? Birthday sex. Yeah, they still playing that dumb shit. Or it's just a bunch of shit, man. And okay, I liked every girl. You know, I wish I could fuck every guy. Yeah, it's catchy. I liked it. And also like best I ever had. But when you hear that shit 10 times a day, when you driving in the car, it makes you want to rip out your whole little radio console and throw it out the window in the oncoming traffic. You feel me? <laughs> I mean, it's time to switch it up here. Alright? And, you know, I'm not saying that Jay-Z is like, you know, the answer to everyone's prayers and music. But... I'm saying that he got the right idea. It's time to get rid of the auto-tune dominating the airways and it's time to let other things in. Okay, back in the day, you could have a gangster song on the radio, then you could have a party song on the radio. You could have a serious song, then you could have a, 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 a little ridiculous funny song. Now, what is it? But champagne, oh! on the goose. Got to fit loose, put me on the trail, you need the zone. Cream on the inside, wasted. Uh huh. Bunch of brain dead, dumb shit. Okay? I understand that, like I said, everyone don't want to hear serious music all the time. I can understand that. I really can. Because when I make mixed CDs, I'll have a serious, a bunch of serious songs, gangster songs, songs that get you hyped. Then I'll have a couple of little party songs. But dumb, mindless shit all day long? Come on. I don't know. I'm talking in circles here, so I'm just going to uh, wrap it up. Bottom line, get off of Jay-Z's nuts. <laughs> Take the song for what it is. It's a good song. It's, make, it's making a statement. Either get behind it or say fuck it. Keep on listening to auto tune. I mean, shit. If Jay Z's washed up, Jay Z don't matter. You lame old nigga. If that's the case, then why are you even paying attention to the man? Go on about your day, drink your juice, and listen to your auto tune.